Hi there, welcome back to Simon Says. I'm Simon and today we're going to be talking about a long-range communication protocol called LoRaWAN, which can even earn you a cryptocurrency called Helium. So currently on my home assistant network, I use Wi-Fi, Zigbee, and a little bit of Bluetooth for communication with my devices. But I was starting to look around and see what other things are available. And I came across this LoRaWAN and it seemed really interesting. So I've been doing a whole lot of research and I thought I'd create a video to tell you a little bit about it. So it was developed back in 2009 by two Frenchmen. Um, originally used for smart metering systems. The really powerful thing about this protocol is that it can communicate across really long distances, up to 15 kilometers in rural areas. And the other really powerful thing is that it uses very little power. So batteries can last for a year or even more on sensors. So you might ask, what is the downside of this protocol? Well, it can only transmit very small packets of data. But this is fine if we're just communicating with devices such as sensors and turning things on and off. So you might ask, what is LoRaWAN being used for? Well, it's really good for communicating with devices that are far away from your network. So it might be something that you've got a gate controller or a post box sensor or a tank sensor far out in your garden where your current Wi-Fi network or Zigbee network is not going to be able to reach. So it's really good for things like that. So how does it work? Well, we've got these little LoRaWAN devices all over the place. And how do we connect them to our network? So what's really clever about this system is that there is a, a whole network of LoRa gateways across the world. And basically you can take your device and you don't have to have your own gateway. You can actually connect via other people's gateways. So how does this work? Well, they came up with a system of a cryptocurrency called Helium, where effectively what you do is you would buy credits and this would then allow you to connect to the network and communicate with your home assistant network. The benefit of if you have your own gateway is that you can actually earn HNT or Helium credits for yourself. So if you want to discover if there are any of these Helium gateways in your area, you can go along to a website called the Helium Explorer. And on this gateway, you can actually see a map of the whole world and pinpoints in these green dots all over the place showing where people have got these LoRaWAN gateways and then you can find out whether it's something local in your area that you could connect to while you're there you can have a look so around the world there's many people claiming that there's lots of money to be made with these helium cryptocurrency credits now i did a bit of research and uh, people are claiming up to making 400 dollars a month and things like this i found it hard to believe and i did some investigation specifically in new zealand where i live and I must admit that the ones that are the gateways that I checked out were only earning either cents or a couple of dollars per month. So at the investment cost of around a thousand dollars for a gateway or a network um, communicator plus an aerial and things like this, it doesn't seem to me as if there's going to be any big money to be made in this at the moment. But if you decide to buy one for your own use, of course, then you're going to get the benefit of having that long range communication for your own devices. One more thing that's really important is to find out the frequency of the country that you live in and make sure that you buy a device that is suited to that frequency. Because if you try and work with communication frequencies that are not available for your area, you could get into trouble with the authorities. Anyway, that's all for now. I look forward to investigating this topic more in the future. And if you'd like to look at some of my other videos, 
There's some links below to some of the videos. I've done a recent one with Dirk talking about his home assistant. And there's a really cool one talking about how I've developed a CO2 sensor. Bye for now.